How to make great prompts in Taki Sulfo AI. Hi guys, in this video, we'll teach you how to create great prompts for you to create your own characters here in Taki Sulfo. Simply go to your profile and click on My Taki, and you can create your own Taki here. You can choose what gender, and from here, what you're gonna do is to either have a reference image. You can use this reference image as the identical one or just for the same style of the imitation. So you can click on the plus icon and then you can choose an image in your gallery. Once you've chosen an image, you can also type in the prompt here at the box below. So you can adjust what is the main focus here. And here on the next stop on image prompt, all you have to do is before you click on AI optimize, you type in first the details like what the hair color is, what the background is, what the scene is, like city lights, what day, what time of the day it is, is it nighttime, daytime. You can set the location as well, where the setting is, like it's at a beach, is it at the city, um, school. So depending on what type of image you'd like to portray here. Aside from the scene, you can also indicate here what is the dress or what are the other details the character would be wearing or the action. You can also indicate that here. Um, there's no need to be the exact prompt you have since once you click on AI Optimize, um, the AI will generate the image prompt for you. You can review it and then once you're done, simply click on the generate button. But before that, you can also add a style here, whether it's an anime, a watercolor, film. So you have a lot of options as well. Once you're done, click on generate button and it will generate different variations of the image from the image prompt that was generated. And all you have to do is to choose what is the perfect image that would fit best into your character profile. So here I'll be choosing this character, this one bringing with an umbrella, then click on pick, and then just simply click on the next button. So you can also edit or position what image would look like on the character. So once that's done, you can scroll down, review the image, and then just simply click on next. And you will be setting up the details on what the name of the character is description but you can simply click on AI right now button on the upper right corner and then it will automatically generate the name description and even the prologue for that character that you have so once you're done you can review add more details and then just simply click on next and then you can just add the AI voice for that specific character review all the details once again and just simply click on confirm and then you will successfully now have your AI character with a great prompt that's basically it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!